Hey, what's going on guys? This is Broku. Welcome back to another video. And this is a review of the newest Black Clover chapter that just came out this morning officially on Viz. Black Clover chapter 240. So the title of the chapter is The Great War Breaks Out. So it seems like the like overarching battle that's been building up is finally starting now. It's been like preludes to war for a while now. But I'm going to give them a summarization of the chapter, a review, and an analysis talking about things in the future. Maybe even talk about things from previous chapters that people are still talking about a lot. So it starts off with Charmy, you know, being her good old glutton self, eating a bunch of the Heart Kingdom food. And she's loving it. And Charmy is getting fat as hell. And Laura Pachika is kind of aiding and abetting in her uh, unhealthy diet. But... I kind of have a feeling that this is going to turn into something good in the future, that this fatness will be converted to power for Charmy. Uh, that's just one of my predictions. So, I mean, we already know that she eats stuff to make herself stronger in her dwarven form. So, this, you know, this might have something to do with that. But it is broken up, this piece is broken up by Lord Pachika sensing the devils. Remember, as I stated earlier, because of her curse, she can sense devils quite well. And so she knows that they're under attack. There is six different people, and they're all over the country, and they got through the Monozone Barrier easily. This is stated by her. She said they all have the Devil's Power, and they're all Stage Zero. And she says, out of that group, one of them is the Extraordinary Magic. It's Dark Triad Vonica. She's possessed by the Devil Magicula. So, interesting here. A lot of people thought that Dante was going to be one possessed by Magicula, because he's the leader of the Dark Triad. So, is there another Devil? that's really the true leader here is does, does Dante have Lucifer maybe we'll find that out and then Noel says magically now I remember when this first came out unofficially and I tweeted that Noel was a dumbass for saying this but apparently you know it's actually more likely that talking about the curse is what gave Kurtz not saying Magicula's name so that's a kind of an oopsie for me but I was just trying to be funny anyways but uh, the thing here with the whole dark triad there's six of them uh, or no there's one dark tribe member and then there's five dark disciples What's probably going to happen here, then, is, you know, this is perfect. You have Lore Pachika and five Spirit Guardians, right? That means you could have Lore Pachika on one, each Spirit Guardian taking one, with each, like, each uh, leader, per se, a Spirit Guardian, and then Lore Pachika, the Heart Queen, having some of the trainees with them. So, they should outnumber all of them. So, this, you know... This could be pretty good. I feel like if Gaia has luck by his side, they're probably going to wash a Dark Disciple, but don't know for sure. We'll have to see. And we do find out that Asta is... Asta and Fenrir are at the Black Bulls base now. They're not with the Heart uh, Kingdom right now. They're uh, they're actually on the the border of the Spade Kingdom. If that means they're if they're on the border, they should be in the territory between the kingdoms that is just neutral land because none of the, the countries border each other. But then again... The spade has expanded their border, we, so we don't really know exactly where they are, but they're in a forest, and the, the Black Bull's base is there. Yami is actually out of commission from this base. He's in a captain's conference meeting, but Finra was bringing all of the Black Bulls a bunch of food. But this nice reuniting of the Black Bulls is interrupted by Dante. Henry is immediately alerted to Dante. This is probably because Henry's curse, so he probably has that similar, I guess, blessing from the curse that he can sense devils quite well or devil magic quite well and Dante makes the Black Bull's hideout float which causes Rouge or Vanessa to activate Rouge to go and defend the Black Bulls and you know it's a Henry and Gauche combo spell it's the uh, mana rocket punch plus large reflect frame and Dante no diff just cancels it so it's confirmed that dante does have gravity magic now i had predicted for a while that one of the, the dark triads would have gravity magic and you know a lot of people predicted that dante would be the one to have it it makes sense because if you guys don't know the main character of hungry joker yuki tabata's last uh, series the main character had gravity manipulation he in order to get that powers he ate an apple that had a mark very similar to the mark on dante's forehead so that was a lot of foreshadowing for a lot of people and so yeah, Dante has gravity magic. It's gonna be interesting to see, you know, how they're gonna fight him. I mean, that explains why he's gonna fly. Explains why he, you know, was able to make the base float. And you know, the Black Bulls are really impressed with Dante so far. They think he's really strong. 
And, you know, Dante also has taken interest in Vanessa's uh, fate manipulation spell. And he's like, wow, it can manipulate natural laws. And then he says, to think you'd have a stage zero besides Yami Tsukihiro. So, that means that Vanessa, that spell of stage zero. Now, a lot of people are debating, like, oh, this should be arcane. This is multiple reasons is that Vanessa doesn't really feel like a stage zero mage because she's not that great of a fighter. And then, two, her her spell Rouge feels a lot more arcane because it manipulates natural laws and probably could defeat a devil because it's fate and manipulation. But the thing is, guys, is you could have a stage zero spell without yourself being stage zero. Remember, Noelle wasn't a stage one until she activated Valkyrie armor, which means she wasn't a stage one before that. So. Vanessa could, for all we know, be a stage 3 or a stage 4, but her spell Rouge is a stage 0, which makes sense because the spell itself is way stronger than anything she scales to. And then, so basically, the chapter ends with Asta flying on the Demon Slayer sword, wielding the Demon Dweller sword, about to go fight Dante. So that's where the chapter ends. Honestly, this chapter was a little bit disappointing, even though I do think it is good. And one thing is that Dante does scare the Black Bulls because. When he sees Rouge, he says, I like it. I like that this can, you know, disobey natural laws, disobey natural order. So that's the fact that he's excited about that. Probably a bit scary for the Black Bulls. But so one thing I want to talk about is it's kind of weird because it says in the chapter that over the last six months that Magna and Zora have been hanging out a lot together. But they almost made it seem like, or Tabata almost made it seem like, that before the six month time skip, that Zora would be training with the Heart Kingdom. So I'm a bit disappointed that he really didn't, because if you remember that panels that showed all the characters, showed Zora in there. And so I was really excited to see Zora with using the runes or symbols with his traps to make him stronger. Unfortunately, that might not happen, but they still could be stronger because he's been training with Magna. But that's cool. I mean, it looks like Luck and Leopold are kind of buds now so now we got Zora and Magna although I'm gonna miss that that uh the luck and Magna team ups but maybe we'll get that at some point anyways but so one thing I do need to say is that if base Asta at all holds his own against Dante like reacts to his attacks is able to parry some attacks is maybe able to damage him a little bit then base Asta will scale above elf arc captains the reason for that is is that the power progression has happened so heavily in Black Clover if you think about it, remember, Zeno, before the six month time skip, he was able to no diff several dozen diamond soldiers and two diamond generals at least. And now you might say, oh, the diamond generals are not that strong. Well, Luck said that they were as strong as captains. So Zeno no diffed two captain levels characters, a few dozen soldiers, and that was before the six month time skip. Now, we know that he's been training for six months, it's actually stated, so he's way stronger now, and Dante scales above Zeno because he's the leader. Now you might say, oh, that doesn't mean that he's stronger because he's the leader, because Pachiru is the leader, but the third eye was stronger than him. Well, that that's true. The thing is, with most instances in anime, and even in Black Clover itself, the leaders are the strongest. The leader of the Clover army, Julius, is the strongest. The leader of the Apostles of Sephiroth, Licht, is the strongest. So in Black Clover itself, we have more examples that the leader of military groups are the strongest. We have two to one, and then we go to the broad spectrum in all of anime, it's also the same thing. So yes, we can assume Dante is the strongest, he's the leader of the Dark Triad, the highest group in the Spade Kingdom, which is a military country. So yes, I would assume, it's likely to assume, Dante's above Zeno. So you have Zeno who could no diff two captains and a few dozen soldiers, then he a much stronger Zeno after the training, and then Dante's above that. If, if, so that's why I'm saying if Asta is able to hold his own at all against Dante, which I don't really know things gonna happen, I think I'll have to use Black Asta to do that, then he his base form would probably scale above all Elf Art captains. Now if he I think that Black Asta is gonna scale above all Elf Art captains anyways when he fights him. But then again, this might be a combination fight. You're going to have Gauche, Vanessa, and Henry. And I believe Gray is there too. So it's going to be harder to scale if it's all of them teaming up. So yeah, the one I'm kind of disappointed with this chapter is I want it to be Yami and Dante to start with the fight, the, the big fights. But it seems like this is the undercard, Asta versus Dante. Maybe the other Black Bulls will help too. But 
You have to remember here is that this will kind of show how strong Asta's gotten and how strong Dante really is. If Dante takes down Black Asta, Gauche, Vanessa who has Rouge, and Henry all at the same time, it's going to show that he is a big bad here. He's going to be way stronger than the Word Devil. I mean, it's already very likely he is just based on him being above the Dark Triad. It's actually pretty easy to argue the Dark Triad are above the Word Devil. So, yeah, if, like, if, you have to think here, it might be Black Asta and Ghosh might make clones of him. He can make 10 clones. So 10 Black Astas protected by Rouge and then Ghosh's Reflect Refrain and then Henry and then Grey doing whatever. This could be really bad if Dante's able to take them all on. And then if Yami does better than them, then Yami would scale all above all of that. But that's why I'm excited. If, if Dante can defeat all of them, and if there's like 10 Black Astas, you could then argue that Yami is 10 times stronger than Black Asta. But anyways, that's pretty much it for the video. I'm really excited for the next chapter, even though this one is a bit disappointing. But still, good chapter, just a bit disappointing. But... Let me know your guys' thoughts down below. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Hope you guys all have an amazing day. Plus...